Hey guys, my name is Justin and welcome to my shop. Right here beside me, I have my Harbor Freight miter saw station. You might be asking yourself, Harbor Freight miter saw station? That doesn't exist, dude. And I'm aware of that. What I decided to do was I decided to buy two of these here Harbor Freight benches that you can get for like just over a hundred bucks with a 25% off coupon. And you can actually put them side by side with a little bridge here in the middle to hold your miter saw. And that is how I made this station. And I did make a few modifications compared to the standard Harbor Freight workbench. Like you can tell, I don't have the drawers up here. And back here, I have a little something special that I did to get some more storage out of these drawers and this bench. So let's check out some of these features. So obviously the heart of the idea and this whole station here is built around the miter saw. So this is obviously any woodworkers go to cross cutting for long pieces. Then so you just have to have somewhere to do that well that has support on the edges. And so I saw a few ideas for carts and I saw a few other stations that were just like so elaborate and huge with cabinets up top and cabinets below. And I was like, man, it's just like, I just need something simple that I can put together that'll be sturdy, high quality, and that'll just work for my scenario. And what I figured out that was was a bench already basically built by somebody. Obviously it comes in a box and you still have to put it together. So I decided to use this miter saw here between the two benches. And as you can see, all I have here is a platform that I built. It's just a sheet of three quarter plywood with some two by fours. Nothing fancy going on here. It's just a box with a sheet of three quarter uh, plywood on it. And that's all I did. I don't have this bolted down because I want to have it accessible to be moved if it needs to be. Um, obviously you could screw it down to the platform and that would work great as well. But I have it all here just right where I need it at all times. So right over to the side where I plug it in, I have this eye socket. And so if I can get this to focus real quick for you, that is what will activate the vacuum cleaner when the tool activates. So you plug it in and what will happen is plug your shop back into one tool into the other. So after a few seconds, the saw obviously shuts off first and then the vacuum cleaner shuts off after clearing all of the dust. So it's a very handy thing to have right here behind the miter saw. And so this platform really works well for that. So if you've ever seen the drawers that come stock on this workbench, you know how atrocious they are. They pull out like this far, they're about this deep each, and they're just not very smooth in any way. So what I decided to do was just build four boxes and shape out four drawers for right here inside the miter saw station. And so I'll show you a little bit of what the construction of that looks like in some B-roll here. But basically my whole goal was just to create some more storage options in the shop that were very accessible and usable compared to the drawers that came on this workbench because they were just way too small. I put a three quarter inch piece of plywood in here that's locked in with some pocket hole screws and that's all it is. It's just a piece of three quarter inch plywood here, a piece of three quarter inch plywood here, and a piece of three quarter inch plywood back here. And those three pieces help to make the frame and the structure for what the drawers slide into. And so now down here, it might be something that gets overlooked, but the height of these workbenches was not quite where I would want it to be for this type of miter saw station. So what did I do? I went and grabbed some Douglas fir 4x4s from Home Depot or your local big box store, and I just decided to cut them down a few inches longer than the feet of the workbench, and I put a nice little chamfered edge around it, and then I screwed it down with some wood screws to hold it in place. So now my workbench is about three and a half inches taller than the standard height of the Harbor Freight bench, which really makes it useful and a better working height. Hey, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was everything you dreamed it would be. You can go out there and get yourself some of these miter saw benches, as I would call them, uh, but they're just standard Harbor Freight work benches, just over hundred bucks each. I mean, to build this and to have this much outfeed support and assembly area 
and the simplicity of it all has just been amazing for my shop. It's changed my workflow. So I hope you do the same. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you wanna see some more content coming up here in the very near future. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Have a great day.